Hello there, I am Giant Quill with more Pokemon Diamond Redo. In the last part, we took on the Valor Lake Front and we confronted uh, Team Galactic Commander Saturn and beat him in a battle. And we also battled some grunts too. And then we flew back to Twin Leaf Town and said hi to our mom. Thought she would say something different. Maybe I wasn't doing that right with uh, how I talked to her. Well, I don't know. We held up our Pokemon at the house because we took a rest, obviously. She was finished making dinner. The dinner was pretty nice. So it tasted real good. She had spaghetti and meatballs. The game doesn't tell you that, but it's implied not really. Yeah, okay. So now at the very lower, no, we're at the Verity Lake front. Uh, Lake Verity. And yeah, this lake still has water, you know, so that's pretty cool. And we talked to, um, Team, uh, not Team, but, uh, not Team Galactic, but, uh, Professor Owen here. He says we have to save Dawn. What does this Team Galactic run say? Ouch. Oh, ouch. Or, I said, I met, I've read that wrong, like, twice now. Ow, ouch. What's with this old timer? That's not really nice calling people old. Jeez, have some manners, Team Galactic. You stupid Team Galactic grunts. <laughs> there I go with being rude myself. Okay, it's our mission to stall you. Sorry, but we gotta do our job. And I have Bronze, uh, Bronzong and, uh, and Karen, my Murkrow, up front. Uh, in order for us to bring peace to the world, we must control it. I don't like how those, how both those Team Galactic runs were beating up on Karen. I don't think, you know, that Bronze was ever attacked once in that battle. Jeez, way to target Karen, my micro. That wasn't cool. And also, uh, uh, Drago grew to level 20 in that last battle, so that's pretty cool. I'll knock your Pokemon into orbit. What's with all these Team Galactic runs being jerks? Jeez. First they're rude, and now they're being jerks. If, if, this mission, if this mission is successful, we will get a nice bonus. Okay, whatever. Okay, so, um, I didn't, I knew that Skunk Tank was, um, a, you know, poison and dark types, but I forgot, I didn't, I mean, I guess I didn't know till now, clearly, uh, 100%, I wasn't really sure, so I was guessing that, you know, Stunky, or, yeah, Stunky wasn't, uh, just a pure poison type, but apparently it's poison and dark just like it's a solution for him, Skunk Tank, so I learned something in the last battle. And also, um, Karen grew to level 36 in that last battle, and Drago grew to level 21, so that's pretty cool. And, yeah, um, I'll keep them up front, I guess. I'll keep, um, Bronze up front, because Bronze needs to, um, still, it's level 35, I think, and still needs to catch up with everyone. It's like one level behind Karen, and then two levels behind Ferno and Rose, and three levels behind Jetta. 
but it's 14 levels ahead of Drago. So that's pretty cool. Here's Dawn. Steven, it's t t Team Galactic. Oh no, the Pokemon of the Lake. Okay. Looks like we're gonna have to fight Commander Mars again. Team Galactic Commander Mars. Okay, um, that face, it brings back bad memories. I'm talking about the Windworks. I caught a whole lot of trouble for that little incident. What's that look on your face? You don't remember me, don't you? Uh, fine, whatever. I'll tell you who I am again. I am Mars, one of the Team Galactic Commanders, and I already remember your face, so you don't have to say that. Yeah, he's one of the Team Galactic Commanders, so what is it? Are you some loving dovey couple to the rescue? Not a chance, not even a teeny one. You're all going down. Okay, Mars, if, if that's what you say. We'll see about that. Mars. Okay, she starts off with her gold bat, so it's good that I just kept bronze up front because bronze is extra sensory and gold bat's half poison type, so it'll be super effective on gold bat. So, ha. Huh. Oh, it's gonna be supersonic. I mean, I, sh I wish that would have missed because supersonic doesn't have as good an accuracy as Confused Ray, but you know, that's okay. We'll get through this. Ah, no! Hit himself. Oh, uh, man, bronze hit himself in confusion. Or itself. I keep on forgetting it's Shenduous sometimes. I think I have a berry for confusion. I'm just gonna try using that and hopefully it won't use supersonic again or it'll miss next turn if it tries doing that. I have a full, I could use a full heal, but um I wanna try to find the right berry. Is it the spear berry? Frost, okay. Um it's not the Chester berry, Petra berry, Ross berry, because that's this is poison. This is sleep, this heals poison, and then this heals burn. So, a person berry, I think, is the confusion one. Yeah, okay, let's use a person berry. Using a berry, baby. Berry power. Activate. Okay. And you can just bite? Okay, I'm good with that. Bronze is a tank, so ha. Sucks to be you, Golbat. You're going downtown. As long as I don't get conf As long as bronze doesn't get confused again. It can take this air cutter. It has really good defense. Bronze has really good defense, man. Let's do this. Hopefully it'll be one hit KO. It may take two extra sensories though. You never know. Let's see how much it does though. And it did... Aw, oh, so close. Okay. Okay, well I can actually faint this thing with a confusion. Haha. -ha. And supersonic mist. That's good. And here comes the confusion, baby. Nice. And there goes the Golbat. The Golbat will go down and faint. So hopefully that's enough to, yeah, get, get bronze up to level 36, nice. Bronze oil, okay. I'm gonna send out my starter Pokemon. That's now a fully evolved Infernape. Let's go Inferno, take down this bronze oil with a flamethrower. Wait, we haven't got to that yet, because he has to, yeah, he, can't, he just came out of his Pokeball, guys. He just came out of his Pokeball. Let's do this. Gotta wait for the animation the battle system to finish up the certain parts that's needed to let me select um you know inferno's move but there we go flamethrower attack let's do this let's see how much this does there we go bronzoi goes down you know we're gonna have some fun with this per ugly because this per ugly is back for some action and that's our last pokemon too so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna switch pokemon i'm just gonna use that close combat on this thing hopefully to faint it in one hit because fighting Move, fighting type moves are super effective against normal type moves and Paraguays are normal type Pokemon. Oh, I was gonna use Fake Out to get a free hit and make Inferno flinch. Okay, that's cool. Not really. Let's use Close Combat now. Cause you can't use Fake Out unless it's the first move your Pokemon uses for, on a uh, foe. So, ha. Huh. Let's see how much this Close Combat does. And it faints it in one hit. Awesome. Although Inferno's defense falls and special defense falls, but that's okay because the battle's over. The Pogo fainted. Nice. So yeah. And with that, Drago grew to level 22. Yeah. yeah. Metal Gear Solid exclamation point again beats in again or something like that. I didn't read the second half that well. I didn't read how many Pogo dollars you gave me. I lost again. So first the one works and now the like Verity. That... I owe you for. This shouldn't be happening to Team Galactic's commander. 
da da da. Calm down, Mars. You've done. I've done my part in all of this. My mission was to transport the like po likes Pokemon to our HQ. That's right. I accomplished my mission without problem. Team, we're pulling out. The boss is waiting at the HQ. The Pokemon of the three lakes are connected somehow. Thanks to Saturn's uh, grandstanding at Lake of Alora, a cavern opened up here. Appeared here. It was the cavern where the Pokemon Misprit slept. Misprit appeared too, probably to go help its friends. That worked out well for us. It was super easy to catch. So now we've got them all. Misprit, the being of emotion, as of the being of willpower, you can see the being of intelligence. Now that we have them all, you can look forward to what plans King Rock has for them. Interesting, so you call all of them. We have to rescue them later. And as soon as possible, actually. I see, um, Professor Owen says. This, al this also occurred at Lake Valor. Another legendary Pokemon was taken away by Team Galactic. Both of you went up against full-fledged criminals. The fact that you are unharmed is reason enough to celebrate. But what about Lake Aquity? Is Sam safe? Man, we gotta check on him, I guess. I have to go see him. Steven, I need you to go to Lake Aquity right away. I'm worried about Sam. What does Don say? Uh, Steven, what is... Team Galactic up to? Are they abducting Pokemon uh, of the lakes going? Of the abduct are the abducted Pokemon of the lakes going to be okay? I'm sure they will, Don. I if I have something to say about it. So let's go. Um, I think to get to uh, well, Snowpoint City is all the way up here. So yeah, we have to go through all these routes right here. It's Route 217, and then Route 2. Well, this is Mount Coinet really. It's about 217, 216, and 217 really. And then here's Lake Aquity, the lakefront where Sam's at, or on his way, hopefully, or he might already be there. Okay, so I'm gonna go, um, I forget, which way do I wanna go? I forget which way I have to fly. Do I have to fly to Turner City and go to Mount Cornet through the west side of the Mount Cornet, or do I have to go to Celestia Town and go to the east side of Mount Cornet? Um, I think I have to go to, um, Celestic Town, actually. So, we'll try both. I don't exactly remember this little small detail that's actually quite important, but trial and error is our friends, so if one f uh, way fails, then we're gonna go to the, um, we're just gonna go try the other way then, because I know it's one of the two, but I can't really remember. Let's see up the Pokemon real quick, though. And I have to figure out who, um, to leave behind, because I really don't want to deposit, uh, because I have to get back out, because Rock Smash and stuff to get to, um, uh, to help me get to Snowpoint City in that in Route 216 actually before Snowpoint City, so yeah. So and I don't want to um, deposit uh, Drago because he's only level 22 and he needs some experience, you know, to be caught up in everyone's levels. He's like 13 levels behind everyone or the lowest level Pokemon, or maybe 14 levels. I don't know, one of the two. So let's go to Beeb's PC, move Pokemon. Okay, here is back right here. So who's gonna be staying in the PC for a while? Um, I think I want um, I think I want Karen really to be in the PC. Although, yeah, because I do want to raise uh, you know, uh, Rose, so you can get to level 40 and we're pedal dance, and then I can evolve it into Rose Raid. So I'll probably just leave, uh, Mercury on the PC or Karen. Hopefully I'm, it's the, I have to go on the east side of, uh, Mount Cornet through, uh, by going to Sluxtown and going east, or west of it. And then that's the right way. Or I have to go back to the Pokemon Center, get, get, um, Karen back out, and then fly to the Turner City if it's, the, if that's the right way. So, I think I can avoid tall grass if I go through this path, yeah. I have to go through here though, there we go. Okay, and I can use cut. There we go, and I should actually rearrange my party a little member because Bex in the second slot, I just realize that. So, yeah. Oh man, I have to just do a lot of rearranging. There we go. And that should do it. That's good. And if we go through here. Let's 
put a repel on though. I hope I have enough repels. I have 20. That should be enough for the road, I guess. So, we can actually strength it in a couple places. So let's do that real quick. Wait, I know that messes. Okay, we have to go strengthen it from where they go that way. Apparently. So if we use strength right here, we can get an item actually, so that's good. Which this item is, um, TM69 Rock Polish. Awesome. I won't be using that move on any of my team members, but I picked it up and I have it, I guess. That's for, That counts for something, right? And let's use strength right here. Okay, I've used Rock Smash, I think, a couple times, like on these two rocks. You don't need to use the rock, I just to select it on. But I think these, this upcoming to the left here is a rare candy. Let's see if I'm right, though. I remember it being a rare candy in this item ball that's coming up, but I could be wrong. So here it is. It's a rare candy. I was right. Nice. My memory serves me right that time. I was correct. And then we can go over here, go down the steps. It's foggy here, and you don't really need defog, really, because you can still see and stuff. As long as you have a repel up, you don't run into little Pokemon battles. Therefore, you do, the accuracy is lowered in the battle mode when you if you run into wild Pokemon. Or if it is, if you run into wild Pokemon. But if it isn't, if you have a repel, and you don't run into any wild Pokemon. So, yeah. So, yeah, let's use another repel. I said that, I, I said that, I said, yeah, again. What am I, Professor Kukui -Kui from, Kukui -Kui from Pokemon Sun and Moon? But by the time this is uploaded, I'm recording this on December 19th of 2016. It'll probably be December two, uh, 2017 in January sometime when this is actually uploaded, if I was to guess. I think if we use Surfy, we can get a couple items, so let's do that. Oh, here's an item over here. No, I didn't want to. I want to get the item. There we go. Light clay. What does that do again? I know it's a held item. It is. Um, a hold item that extends the duration of moves like white screen and effect by the holder. Used by the holder. Okay. That's cool, I guess. I won't be using it though. I was just wondering what it did, because I forgot. Right. Didn't seem. I didn't know at the time. I should say. Here's an item. I think it's a. If I already guess, it's like a revive or something. Maxi looks okay. Cool. Very worth picking up. And we can surf around this rock, but we can also smash it. I'll smash the rock. So it cause some damage to this rock. Turn it to a crisp. Turn it to a crisp. It's like burning it to a crisp. I mean, like smashing it to. Uh, to pieces. Yeah, there we go. But there's an item down there, too. Let's get it. What's your strength right here? This is actually a smashable rock. My bad. What's your strength right here on this boulder? And what is this item? It's a soft stand, so it'll raise the power of uh, ground type moves. That's pretty cool. Choose another repel or super repel, I should say. Dang it, I didn't mean to do that. And I think we can go to the next area. Because I think I got. Wait, no, there's another item, of course. Here is a revive, very worth picking up. And there's another way to get another item, I think. There's an item down here, hopefully. They want to put a smashable rock just to put no item behind it, right? Let's see. Yeah, there's an item. Cool. Here's a full store, very worth picking up. In fact, I'm going to put that at the top of my medicine pocket if I don't already have a full store. Yeah. Well, not the top. Well, actually, at the top, because four stories actually heals the status condition and uh, fully all the HP of a Pokemon. So that's pretty cool. So let's put it all the way to the top then. Nice. Just to keep my bag organized.
And finally, we can go to the next area. Now, see the fog is gone now, so we just have to go this way. I was right with going to Sectus Town first, because that's the right way to get to about 216 right here. Just so I'm gonna end this part right here. So this has been my Pokemon Diamond Redux uh, Redo Walkthrough Guide part. And next part we'll take on Route 2016 and maybe 217 if 217 if we have time, depending on time. I don't want to make it like a super long part next part, so I don't really plan on wanting to do that either. So yeah. So this is Janko again. I would like to then for again, again, again. Sorry. Uh, goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walkthrough Guide.